Today is April 17th. Pastor saying to us, A divine parentage. Our opening scripture comes from the book of 1 John chapter 4, verse 4. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Being born again means you are God's offspring. You are a divine being. You're not an ordinary person because you have in you the same life that God has. When Jesus walked the earth, he had this consciousness. In John chapter 6, verse 38, he said, For I came down from heaven. He affirmed his divine origin. This is how you must think, talk, and live. Be conscious of your divine origin. You hail from God. Your true parentage is divine. Like the Lord Jesus, speak with confidence and authority in affirming who you are. Recall what the psalmist said in Psalm chapter 82, verse 6. I have said, Ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. We are gods because we are born of God. Just in case you're thinking the psalmist might have gone too far, read the words of the Master himself in John chapter 10, verse 34. He reiterated the same words. He said, Is it not written in your law? I say, Align yourself with God's word, his thoughts and visions of you, and speak accordingly. Every so often, affirm that you're an associate of the God kind. As Jesus is, so are you. Herein is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. 1 John chapter 4, verse 17 Let your consciousness of who you are in Christ, the consciousness of your divinity, control everything you say and do. Let it control everything about your life. Please say this confession with me. I walk in dominion over the elements of this world and over demons, disease, and death because I'm born of God. The life of Christ is manifested in me from glory to glory. And I walk in the consciousness of my divine origin. In the name of the Lord Jesus, amen. For further study, please read 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 4, John chapter 5, verse 26, and 1 John chapter 5, verses 11 to 13 of the New International Version. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read Luke chapter 16 and 1 Samuel chapters 1 to 2. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read Mark chapter 3, verses 1 to 7 and Leviticus chapter 17. If you've never received salvation, if you've never received Christ into your heart, if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about, this is your moment. Say these words. Say, O oh Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe He died to save me. I believe God raised Him from the dead and He's alive today. I confess with my mouth, Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in Him, I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord. For saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God.